Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to create ballistic weaponry using CubeJS. It has sound, it has particle lifetime, cooldown, and later in the video I'll show you how you can merge NBT, how to do things like disable gravity, and I'll even show how to add more motion to the projectile so that you can simulate bullets more easily without them being visually glitchy. But anyways, let's get started. So, I'm going to put it inside of item events. However, I would recommend putting all of these inside of like use functions inside of items. There's documentation for that online that shouldn't be too hard to find. I could also make a video about registering new items later in the future. But anyways, here we're basically saying that if we right click a piece of quartz, we're grabbing the player inside of the event. And what this basically lets you do is instead of having to do event.player every single time, you can just do player. And yeah, that should work. And you can just find whatever the event has by these blue things using probe.js, if you were wondering. If you don't get these, like, auto-completions, it's because you don't have probe.js. You should probably look into that as well if you want to do cube.js stuff. But anyways, I'm actually going to use this here. And we're going to say, if the event.hand does not equal your main hand, oops, then we are going to return. And what that's basically saying is that if it's not your main hand, then we're going to return nothing, which is basically like stopping the script. Now what we can do here is, oops, we can actually declare a new object. So I'm just going to call it key angle for player angle. We're going to want an X, a Y, and a Z. So for the X, you want to get the player dot look angle dot X. Just like that. But don't forget the parentheses. For some reason, for look angle specifically, it needs the parentheses. I don't know why. Very annoying. But here, we're gonna get the look angle for Y. And then we're gonna get the look angle oops, for Z. Okay. Next. We're going to create an entity. This can be whatever you want, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to make it like a shulker bullet or something. Yeah, just like that. Next, you want to set the entity's position, which is a vector 3 to a new Vector3 and you want this to be the player X, the player Y, and the player Z. However, there is a better way to do this. If you were to just run this, the shulker bullet, every single time, would spawn inside of you and like hit you instantly. So what I like to do is just add an offset like this. So, oops, I'm not making an object, sorry. So I'm going to do 1.5 times angle.x. Now what this is basically doing is spawning it 1.5 blocks away from you multiplied by your look angle vector. And then I'm just going to paste this over here, change it to Z. And for the Y, I like to do it a little bit differently. 
I like to do player dot get eye height plus tingle dot y. That way, if you're using things like Pakui and have a different player size, it'll hopefully work a little bit better that way. Next, we're going to set its delta movement to a new vector 3 as well. And over here, we're going to want to want to make it angle.x, so your look angle vector, and then whatever you want your velocity to be. I'm just going to make it 1.5 as well. So pangle.y times 5, c times 1.5. You can also just set something up here for it, like velocity. And then replace all these. Oops. But yeah, over there you can just set your velocities in a constant if you don't want to keep typing out decimals. So now if we go over here, oops, and we just spawn it, you'll see that it will hopefully work. Oh, hold on. Vec3 is not defined. Oh. I forgot the D in VEC3. So here you go. And yeah, we're now shooting a shoulder bullet. But I'm going to teach you how to do everything else, like add the cooldown, add the sounds, add the projectile lifetime, everything else. So let's get to that. So after you spawn the entity, what you want to do is you want to add an item cooldown to event.item and we're just going to make it 60 tick. And then we're going to do player.level.play sound. And there you go. So play sound is a little bit broken. It is a little bit weird right now. The way you're supposed to actually do this is pass null for the first argument and then just ask the player's coordinates for everything else. And here, I'm just gonna put, yeah, shulker shoot for players with one volume at one pitch. After that, we're going to set up a schedule. And we're going to make this about 20. So what this is basically saying is in 20 ticks, the server is going to do a callback and execute everything inside of here. So we're simply just going to put end.kill. That's all we need there. And now if we go in the game and just reload. Yeah. I oh, mods are being annoying. Hold on. But yeah, you'll see that it's all working right now. It has a super long cooldown, though. <laughs> I underestimated 60 ticks. I guess that is three seconds. Now I'm going to show you what you can do if you want your projectile to be at, like, bullet speeds without being buggy. Because if I go here and I just set the velocity to 5... You'll notice that the projectile can sometimes do some visually glitchy stuff. 
like there were two trails it like moved a little bit yeah they're just like teleported for a second so i'm gonna show you how you can have super fast projectiles while mostly fixing that so what we're gonna do is after we spawn the entity we're going to add delta movement instead of oops honestly we can just copy paste this here instead of setting delta movement we're gonna add more to it and then we're gonna set that back to three and then here i'll show you really quick how you can add nbt so no gravity one there you go so three might still be a little high but as you can see it's at least way better that way and they should hit where you aim mostly but if you want to do like faster projectiles you're probably gonna have to do something a little bit more complex i just wanted to offer like a simplistic way you could try and speed them up if i go back and lower it you'll see that It'll probably be fine and still go really fast. Probably fast enough for most, like, quote-unquote bullets. Yeah, so as you can see, by turning the velocity down from 3 to 2, they go perfectly straight. Almost no visual glitching. And... Yeah, it's just pretty good overall. If you wanted to go any faster, I would just use a ray trace, which I might make a tutorial over. If you try to just do a normal ray trace with just the regular ray trace method inside of CubeJS, you always have to be aiming at an entity for it to work. So I might make a tutorial in the future showing how you can make a ray traced gun that lets you shoot in the air everywhere else on blocks, entities. It it just works overall no matter what. But anyways, I hope this was helpful and you enjoyed and I will see you later.